the results speak for themselves. You know, for me, the most important thing is that the, the process was peaceful, it was transparent, and no one can challenge it because everyone has seen all of it happen right before our eyes. So I think we're just glad to have this over and done with so we can actually mobilize and start moving towards 2020. A female MP and then gone through the parliamentary primaries and emerged again. And I think it's not a victory just for myself. You know, it's a victory for all the women who have had to go and contest with other men in their various constituencies. And I think it's a plus. It's a plus. And I think that the people have spoken and uh, we, we move on. There's a lot of work to do. I'm just happy about it. I just give thanks to God for the outcome and for the fact that we've had a peaceful and transparent process. We will definitely put in the work and make sure that happens because now we have, we have chosen a flag bearer for the, um, that represents us over here for the NDC and now we have a parliamentary candidate also for the NDC and um, I, I'm not sure, I haven't heard the results from the other constituencies. I certainly hope that um, you know, they've all had a peaceful process and we can have um, a very good outcome and then we can work towards 2020. Well, I think it's good. You see, at the end of the day, I mean, when you do add the other two numbers, it's still, you know, it doesn't add up. The, the whole idea is to prove that it wasn't by chance, you know. So I just want to give thanks to God because, um, you know, elections are funny and um, we just give thanks to God. And at the end of the day, we had a peaceful, a peaceful um, outcome of the, uh, the elections.